In the months since we announced the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, we've been hard at work and had little time to share updates. So, I thought it would be nice to take a moment to respond to a few of the letters and emails we've received from you, the fans. That ain't that Let's big of an inbox. Let's the mailbag and have a look. Here we have a letter from Tim Richmond, who writes, Hello. I've been looking forward to the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe and excited to see the new endings. But something has been bothering me. When you announced the game, you announced it for 2019. Is that really feasible? Does only a year of development give you enough time to make the game the best it could be? The Stanley Parable is special to me, and I just want this new iteration to be as high quality as possible, no matter how long it takes. Best wishes, love and hugs, Tim. Well, goodness, Tim, thank you very much for your thoughtful concerns around the final quality of the game. But let me put your fears to rest. We gave ourselves plenty of time to make exactly the game we wanted to make. No compromises. Now, it's true that there is very little time left in the year, but we intend to stick by our commitment to you, the gamers. Promises of a 2019 release were made, and those promises will be kept, no matter what. You have my word. Your concerns are noted, but not necessary. Let's look at another one. This one from Alma Redmond, who writes, I have a confession that I need to share. <laughs> when the Stanley Parable Archer Deluxe was announced, I tried to spread the word about it as much as I could to family and friends and peers to make sure that everyone around me knew to expect more Stanley Parable in 2019. <laughs> However, in retrospect, I now feel ashamed for putting this kind of pressure on you to deliver the game in 2019, <laughs> not knowing the myriad of game development challenges and external factors beyond your control that inevitably complicate even the most well-organized game development efforts. I hate to think of the stress that I may have inadvertently caused you. No one should have to create art under that kind of pressure, under that kind of time constraint. I hope you can... Forgive my hubris and my <laughs> presumptions. I won't have it again. No, I really do. That reading. The extra thoughtfulness. But the truth is, oh my this God. no complications or compromising external factors whatsoever. To characterize the game's development as anything other than a steady current of unhindered forward momentum would be grossly inaccurate. I always appreciate when others feel shame on my behalf. But in this case, it's strictly not necessary. Would it be nice to have a little extra breathing room? Just in case? Mm, sure, I suppose. But really, we're fine. Okay, our next email is from James P, who writes, I've been a fan of Stanley Parable from the day it was launched. I spent countless hours exploring every corner of it. I need to tell you I have only one request for the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Please. Delay it to 2020. <laughs> There's simply no way I would be happy with your game if you spent any less time up on it. I'm counting on this to be the best game ever made. This is the so best, best we're going to be late announcement yeah, ever. <laughs> Possibly be done with only a few months left in the year. Oh, uh, my God. Only release window inside which my outrageously lofty expectations could ever possibly be met. It's pretty satisfying. Please. <laughs> for us. The fans. <laughs> the gamers. I'm asking you not to let us down, not to let us be hurt like we've been before. Please, delay the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. All right. I'm, I'm actually quite moved by the vulnerability. I really of need to go back to Stanley Parable. Yeah. This shit's to so good. Product of such high quality and to be so willing to wait a little bit longer for it is, is this truly the level of trust that our fans have in us? That they are so quick to sacrifice their own short-term gratification for the health of our game and our studio? Well, I have to say, I've never felt so deeply connected to our fan base before. And yes, yes, I too can take a stand. I will give our beloved fans what they've been asking for, what they've demanded across dozens of other emails and <laughs> handwritten letters exactly like these. I will be a champion for you. The people. You spoke to us loud and clear. 
thousands of voices ringing out in a single unified chorus, echoing one message over and over. And that message is... Delay the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe to 2020 to sometime, probably before summer. But it sort of depends on the specifics of how development goes. <laughs> you spoke these oh words to us, and we are listening. Mm. Rise up, gamers. Rise and make your demands. Rally behind these words. Etch them in ah. your soul. Die for them if you have to. Let nothing stand between you, all of you, and this valiant future you have collectively willed into being. A future where the Stanley Parable... This is a pretty good piss take. Yeah. <laughs> Together, we will create this world. For mm, the people. Mm. For the gamers. Right? For you. It's so funny, uh, also them taking the piss on fan responses and stuff mm -hmm. is that uh when we played the stanley parable and we finished it and we got our ending mm -hmm. similar to the delta rune thing i mean to the to the undertale thing mm. we get an ending and people tell us you didn't you didn't finish it and you didn't do it right yeah which i feel like in both cases undertale and this one the creator would say holy fuck you didn't get it yeah you didn't understand that these were designed to sometimes be like that can be our original playthrough of the same the parable can be the way your experience it ends yeah we finished it yeah it would be fun to play it again yes i want to go back to it but what i i reject absolutely is this insinuation that you didn't play it right and you didn't finish it you didn't really finish it same goes for undertale mm. And I, I, I would put fucking money on it that the creators of both titles would look at comments like that and say, yeah, you don't get it. <laughs> to those who are saying that type of shit. An ending is an ending. All right, next up. I'm drinking Suntory Rich Malt. It's, Suntory Rich Malt. It's a way to save money in Japan. It's a non-beer. It's a dollar beer. It's a dollar beer. Reduced malts means reduced taxes means one dollar beer instead of two dollar beer here in Japan. It's actually you get six of them for five eighty, and it tastes like a normal, decentish light beer from North America. Decentish light. So drink it cold. Mm. It's crisp. It's carbonated. It's not bad. And it's the same percent. It's five, it's five percent. percent. It's like a light beer. Uh, Dustin, I would compare it to like a fucking Coors. It tastes just like Coors. And it's the cheapest beer you can get in Japan. Yeah. Otherwise, the taxes here are pretty harsh. So it's like 2.10 for a beer. I mean, that's like Vancouver prices, Canada. Mm. Um, if you want a normal beer. but And they're slightly better, but like it's not necessarily worth double the price. 